Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well and we all uh, finish our classes strong this week. Um, I, our, our team actually just won the championship last night, so I've been on, on a happy streak. Um, some of the videos and reflections, or the reflection and responses that we've been looking at this uh, class that have really stood out to me are really all of them. I, I thought that they all applied to what we've been learning uh, really well week by week. And um, I, I thought it was a nice thing to kind of be able to, to sit back and think about why we're getting in the business or why we want to, or how we might want to take an approach to coaching and, and our lives. And I think that uh, the ones that really stood out to me were um, obviously John Wooden's talk because I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to actually interact with Coach Wooden uh, in my time at UCLA and before he passed. And, you know, he what a, what an incredible person and, and just so much knowledge and, and, uh, and really goes about things, tries to teach people to go about the right way. And the things that I learned through UCLA and, and his uh, Wooden Academy, what they call it at UCLA, is stuff that I like to think about from time to time and go by. And it was really nice to see the video to kind of reflect on that time when I was at school there and some of the stuff that he uh, passed on to us as athletes. Um, so that was, that was great. And a lot of the um, principles that he sets up in his Pyramid for Success, I, I think are really important and I apply to my own life. I know a lot of coaches that I look, to, look up to now even model their coaching around his Pyramid of Success and then they tweak it their own way. So um, it's been really, really interesting to learn and have a firsthand interaction with Coach Wooden. Um, I think that uh, the other video that really that really spoke to me was the video of Ezra French, Fresh, and uh, I thought it was, it's important sometimes to, to realize how lucky we are and um, how fortunate we are to have what we have and how we can help people who are less fortunate than us. Um, something that I thought was really cool while I was a player at UCLA is uh, from time to time, sometimes our coach would show us videos of like this video of Ezra where he's, he might not have been blessed, but he has a positive outlook or a lot of stories kind of similar to that where you kind of sit back and go, man, how, how lucky am I that I get to play this sport? And I think coaches, it's the same thing. If you're always focused on winning and how you, you don't really sit back and realize how fortunate you are from day to day because the situation that you're dealt, you might not always think of. So it's I think it's important as a coach to understand that. And I thought that was something really cool as a player when I was a player that our coaches did for us, something that I think I would want to implement to my teams in the future. And uh, the, last, the last one that I really... I mean, I like the Michael Wool story and the Coach Coach Cheeks national anthem, but the other one that really had an effect on me was the malnourished and overnourished. It's something that I care a lot about, so I was happy that, you know, when we were talking about nutrition, I had a chance to talk about it and uh, present some facts. Um, how I'll apply this knowledge personally and professionally, kind of what I was saying, uh, obviously my my values as a coach and as a player really stem from my time at UCLA. Obviously my, my father has installed a lot of the same values because he, he always heard coach Wooden growing up and modeled a lot of things on him. But my coaching philosophy, as far as success and working hard and foundations of success and really coach Wooden's pyramid of success is, is all based off of uh, the process and, and developing other things besides just good players. So um, I'll apply that to my own coaching. I apply it. I apply it every day. It's good to think about from time to time. Uh, Ezra's video. I thought I'm, I. The way I'll apply it is I would show videos like that to my players in the future. 
and uh, the malnourished and overnourished, uh, I think, you know, something that uh, it's really important to my fiance. She she doesn't like to waste food, and I think that um, I don't know a video like that and just getting information on the, on how we can learn to donate more food and figure out ways to feed people and figure out ways to to lose weight. I think are are important, and it's something that I would probably like to get involved in off off the field and outside of the coaching profession. So all things that I thought applied really well to the class, and uh, I was really happy to be a part of it, and um, I hope everybody's finishing strong and, and doing well. Thanks.